Hello and welcome to Japanese from Zero. I am George Trombley and today we are continuing on lesson six from the Japanese from Zero video series, which is a series where we start from lesson one and go all the way through every single lesson of the Japanese from Zero book series. Hopefully you're not starting in the middle. Some of you are, some of you are. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that is in the book and we're going to talk about something that's not in the book, not at least in this revision. I'll let you notice something. Uh, if you have a book that doesn't have a revision number on the back, that means what I'm getting ready to talk to you about isn't in the book because all new books that come out now have a revision number on the back and the current one for book three has not been revised. Therefore, it does not have, well, it's been revised. It just doesn't have a revision number on there. We now make sure that the revision number shows up on the back. Uh, so this is going to be new content for everybody since at the making of this video, the book has not been revised. We're going to talk about being the same and different. Now, in the book, we only talk about being different, but it's important to say the same also. It's kind of an oversight. Uh, 15 years after writing a book, you kind of get different ideas for what should be in the book. Uh, we do need to know mimi, kuchi, te, ashi, and chikara. Some of our new words, there's not a lot. Uh, last one was, man, there was a lot of new words, but we're just going to have onaji, onaji. Onaji desu, it's the same. Okay, and the opposite of that is a verb. So onaji is not a verb, uh, but chigao is a verb. So chigao, chigao. Now we know, we know chigaimas from a phrase. Okay, so we know that we could say ie chigaimas. No, it's not is what we taught that as. No, that's wrong. So chigao means to be different or wrong or not what you just said, right? Like, oh, is your name George? Okay, so I would say, uh, no, that's wrong, or no, I am not, meaning chigaimas. Uh, by the way, do you remember to say, yeah, that's right, yes, that's so. So, hai, so this. That's that would be the appropriate opposite response of chigaimas. All right, uh, and. We're going to learn a word that's not yet in this revision, but it should be in the next one. Aji. Aji means taste or flavor. It doesn't mean like he has good taste. It means this food has good taste. Okay. Aji. Now let's look at the grammar mechanics for what we're getting ready to do. So uh, we have A wa B to onaji desu. That means A is the same as B. A being the topic, what about it? Same as B, okay? But we can move the to and the wa, and we can say, A to B wa onaji desu. Now the topic is A and B, and we're just saying A and B are the same. It's a very small nuance change, but maybe one thing you're, you're saying is you're talking about specifically A, and then it's different from B. And in the second sentence, you're saying A and B are the same, right? Both of these are the same, sorry. I think I might have said different just now. Different is the same thing. A wa B to chigau. Okay, and we can conjugate chigau into all of its forms. Uh, chigaimasu, chigaimasen, chigawanai, chigawanakatta. We can do all of those forms uh, that we know. Because remember, when you're conjugating chigau, because it ends in an u, it, when you go to the negative nai form, it has to be chigawa nai, not chigau a nai. Okay, that's a special one. Now, uh, A wa B to chigao means A is different than B. Okay? And A to B wa chigao just means A and B are different. It's a very minor change, but uh, if either one means they're not the same, right? Or they are the same, depending on which words you use. Okay? All right. So let's go through some examples. How would you say America and Japan are different? America and Japan are are different I mean obviously but maybe we're having a discussion about politics or the way people think or how the country runs and they they might say hey you know they might ask you a question and your answer would be well America and Japan are different I just got notification that the music is still on hang on hang on I got it I apologize I apologize. The music is still on from the live stream. Sorry about that. Very, very sorry about that. 
I couldn't hear it because my speakers are off. What's what's really sad about that is it was it was another cheesy song. We just played a very cheesy song that I wrote uh, and sang maybe 10 years ago called I Love Japanese Girls. You can go to my SoundCloud and check it out. Just go to soundcloud.com uh, and look up I Love Japanese Girls. My user, my uh, artist name is G-Pop. You'll find me. Sorry, very, very sorry about that. Um, apparently the same song played three times in a row, and I, I apologize. I really do. I'm so sorry. So back to what I was saying. Um, how would you say America and Japan are different? Hopefully you hopefully you understand the grammar, those of you that were watching in the stream, because maybe you couldn't hear it over the music. So how would you say uh, America and Japan are different? By the way, I don't have to read you the stream because I'm recording to an independent camera. The stream is not the actual show. You guys are getting, you guys are getting an offshoot from the camera. So how would you say, there you go. Thank you. Uh, you're close. You're close. Uh, Azhar, Azhar has America wa Nihon to That means America is different than Japan or different from Japan. What we're trying to say is Japan or America and Japan are different. It's a smite. Ah, uh, very good. James Kalebi got it. It's America to Nihon wa chigaimas. The only problem, the only problem was that he uh, he accidentally said chigao, chigao, oh, it's chigao. All right. Uh, looks like uh, the order of my animation is wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm sorry. It's doing things out of order. Take me a second to fix that. There we go. You know, uh, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, I, I said this before, but I really don't like to cut things in the video. I, you know, if, if you were in a classroom, your teacher would have these exact kind of mistakes. Like he'd be doing a present, a PowerPoint, and there'd be a typo in it. Uh, he would, the animation would be wrong. He'd say, wait a second, he'd fix it. I want it to be like that. I don't want. I don't want to cut things out if I, I, there are times where I cut them out where I feel like it harms you, but I don't, I don't like to cut. I mean, imagine if we were sitting on a bus and I was explaining grammar to you. You would have to filter things out. This conversation that we're having, even though it's one-sided, I am talking to you as if we were on a bus. That's always the way I think about it. That's why I don't like to use words like dia, what was it, diacritic? Some guy wrote this word on the stream earlier, diacritic. Diacritic, Mark. I. I don't know what that is, but if I was on a bus, I would never say, oh yeah, you just add diacritic marks. Uh, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. If you said that, I would, I would, it would make me feel like I'm stupid for not knowing the word and also that you're a jerk for using it because that's not a common word to use unless you're a linguist talking with other linguists or you're a college student and you just learned that word and you're trying to say diacritic. Diacritic, Mark. I'm a critic of the diacritic. Yo, it's my next song. All right, so how would you say dogs and cats are the same? Maybe the topic of, you know, hey, which is a better pet? Dochi ga ii desu ka? Inu ka neko. Dochi ga ii desu ka? And your response is, well, dogs and cats are the same. Dogs and cats are the same. How do you say that? Anybody? There we go. Again, James is my superstar today. Inu to neko wa onaji desu. Inu to neko wa onaji desu. All right, I think we got how this is working. Now let me ask you. Uh, I'm at a store, and I'm thinking about buying um, this phone or this really awkwardly shaped hard drive phone. Hello? Made by Western Digital. So how would you say, um, are these different? Is this and this different? Is this and this different? I mean, obviously it is, right? Is this and this different? How do you say that? Not are they the same. It's is, the, or is this and this different? Now that's an awkward thing to say in, in Japanese it's not awkward, but in English it's awkward. We normally would say, 
are these different? We would say these, but Japanese will say is this and this different. So it's kore to kore wa chigaimasu ka? Kore to kore wa chigaimasu ka? Okay. Kore to kore wa chigaimasu ka? Now, how would you say they're not that different? They're not that different. This you have to go back to another lesson and remember it from course two. Not that different. If someone gets this, I'll be impressed. Come on. Come on. Someone in the stream, prove me. Prove me happy. I don't know if that makes no sense in English. Make me happy. Yes. X O. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Amari chigai masan. Absolutely. Now, there's other ways to say it. There's other ways. There's, you know, the more Japanese you learn, there are other ways. You could have said, sonnani chigai masan. They're not that. But we don't know sonnani. That's why we're not using it. We are working on a path that's decided already. So we're not going to try to add these different things. But you could say, sonnani. Not that different. But now we're saying, we're using the same, in English translates to the same thing. Amari chigai masan. All right. How would you say, let's say you're at a restaurant and uh, you're eating something that you normally eat at another restaurant, but that restaurant was closed and you ended up having to go to this new restaurant to get the food that you normally eat. And your friend is like, hey man, is, is the taste the same? Is the taste the same? Let's see. So it is, aji wa onaji desu ka? Aji wa onaji desu ka? Is the taste the same? No. No, the taste is different. How would you say that? Iie, aji wa chigaimasu. Now, <clears throat> for the last sentence, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw something your way. Because it, it, as you're learning Japanese, you need to get creative and make sentences that we haven't specifically taught. How would you say, and I will wait for the stream in this one. This is the conversation. Hey, is the, is the flavor the same? No, it's different. Then he says, how is the flavor different? We just learned this word a couple of videos back. How is it different? How is the flavor different? Let's see who gets this one. It starts with ajiwa. How how different. Wow. Very, very good. Vitor and Azar. You all got it. You guys are very good. Ajiwa do chigaimasu ka? See, now we never learned that usage, but we learned a new verb, chigao, and we immediately can apply other grammar to it. That's why when you learn a language, or we're talking specifically about Japanese, if you learn grammar and not just phrases and not just how to order at a restaurant and not how, not how to make a hotel reservation, I, those travel style ways of teaching. If you learn how to make grammar, you can invent things that you've never been taught. That's the amazing thing that you get when you learn kanji, because you can make words that you've never heard before. You can uh, listen to a thing you've never heard before and understand it if you understand how kanji works, right? We talked about it in a, another video. Uh, the Kanji from Zero series, uh, video one talks about why I learn Kanji. We talk about how building a database in your head works that way. Uh, but we just invented Kanji. I, or not Kanji, we invented a sentence. Aji wa do chigaimasu ka? Right? So uh, that's how you get good in Japanese. It happens exponentially, exponentially. You start building on top like a snowball. And before you know it, you're like me one day. One day I was in the shower. I was in the shower and I'm just kind of sitting there watching and I was like, huh, I'm fluent in Japanese. It hit me one day, maybe, believe it or not, it was like 15 years ago. I mean, I was fluent before then. But it just hit me one day, I was like, wow, if I sit back and look at it, I'm fluent in Japanese. And I don't know what happened to Korean. Like, I'm not as good in Korean as I am in Japanese, but I'm fluent in Korean. I can say whatever I want to say for the most part. There's almost nothing I can't say in Korean. Uh, and if I and if I can't say it, I can work around it. That's what I define fluency as. So, 
Uh, hopefully you're getting there. Uh, you won't get there with just book three. Hopefully you're above that. Keep studying. We'll see you all on the next Japanese from Zero. Bye bye. We love Japanese girls. We love them. We love Japanese girls. We love them. When I was 12 years old, my dad took me to Japan. And ever since that, my life has changed. I met a Japanese girl on the airplane. Well, she was the stewardess, and I fell in love. Oh my god. We love Japanese girls. Yes, we do. If you try hard, you will do. What do you mean, try hard? Japanese girls are awesome. All you gotta do is look at one, and then you're gonna want one. Ah, Saikin Nihon no Nanako no Koe wa Kikinayo. Do shite mo Kikitayo. Do sure ba indaro. Ah, so da. Chatto shi yo. I love Japanese girls. Yes, I do. I love Japanese girls, so should you. You love Japanese girls, yes you do. You love Japanese girls and they love you. Don't we all wish Japanese girls loved us? All right. So, as you can see, I'm ama I'm an amazing rapper. Like, that's Eminem level awesome, right? Right? Yes, that's why I teach Japanese for a living.